Hello, my name is Kenzie Sims and welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 3. Today I am building an absolutely massive farmhouse slash farm slash barn slash horse equestrian garden center with stable oh it's it's a bit of everything it's basically a massive farm i have called this farm wild berry farm i absolutely love that name i found it on google somewhere so sorry if i've robbed somebody's actual farm name because i'm guessing that's what it is but it's absolutely gorgeous name kind of reminds me of the wild thornberries because it's called wild berry farm um but oh, i just really love it this has taken me all week to do, probably about ooh, 15, 16 hours of footage, obviously all sped up. So that is why this video is about 25 minutes long, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, I didn't think you guys would mind though since it is a massive build and I've sped it up as much as I can. Don't want to spend sped it. Ugh, don't want to speed up too much more, just because obviously it's going to be way too fast for you guys to see. And I think it's quite fast as it is. Um, but I literally kept every single thing in there: the landscaping, the building, the furnishing. The only thing I haven't kept in is the all of the bathrooms because there's about four bathrooms, I think. Um, there's one downstairs. There's an two en suites, and there's a main bathroom. So yeah, four bathrooms. Um, I should have really recorded the big bathroom, like the main bathroom, but I didn't. I actually recorded the downstairs one, which is small and it doesn't have a bath in, so sorry about that, but you'll see all the screenshots at the end if you do stay tuned to the end. Um, so that's all good. Um, there is three, four bedrooms in this house. Basically, there's a master bedroom that has the ensuite. There is a nursery, which is for twin girls. I thought there'd be twin girls. Um, there could be babies or there could be toddlers, whatever you like, of course, um, that live in that room. Then off that room is like a kind of baby bathroom, but there's no toilet, sink, anything in there like that. It's basically changing tables and potties. And then we have a child's bedroom it's got a double bed in there but i wanted to, i saw it as a child's bedroom um probably an older child kind of like maybe 11 12 years old that kind of age maybe young young teen uh, 13 14 15 year old that could be that kind of bedroom um and then upstairs sorry that it there's actually three floors there's the downstairs there's the second floor or the first floor yeah, the, the ground floor, the first floor, and then there's like an attic in the roof, and it's actually quite a big room, so up there is what I've put is something a little bit different to what I usually do. There's a bed up there, so it is a bedroom, and there's a bathroom up there, so there's an ensuite. And I had in mind that there could either be a teen, like a teenager, or probably more like a... Actually, it's probably best to have a young adult there, so say they still live with their parents, um... But up there is where, I don't know, say they're in uni or something, or, yeah, university, and like up there there is obviously a bed, there's a bathroom, there's an actual bar up there, only like a small two square one, not the big mixology bar, mixology bars, um, so I thought it'd be nice if that room could be like for a young adult who's maybe in college or just still living with their parents at, I don't know, 21 to 25 years old, 20. 30 years old whatever and they have their friends round I mean it's a big enough house you wouldn't be able to hear them I don't think um there's like a little radio up there there's a TV up there with a little seating area like it's big enough for all that stuff and it's really nice and um yeah I just thought maybe the person's in college or uni and they have loads of parties or people around um the only way that would work is obviously if you had the university mod or whatever it is that you have to used to ha have the university in like worlds in in the world you're playing in and not have to actually go off to university um or as i said just, they don't have to be in university they could just be friendly people that want their friends around and maybe the parents of this house are quite laid back um yeah that's what i thought anyway i love this 
bit of the garden where the barn is. Oh, okay. I don't finish it. <laughs> oh, that's another thing I did miss out. I totally forgot to furnish the barn on camera. So again, there will be screenshots at the end of the inside of it. All there is inside is like hay and barrels and random stuff like that. So it's not, you know, too important that you see inside. You will see inside with the screenshots anyway. Um, so yes. Um, okay, so this is a garage. Um, oh, I was going to say something else, but I totally forgot what it is. Oh, I love what I do with, like, the fields all around. There's, like, corn fields. There's, like, barrels of hay. There's, um, oh, I, I, I use the debug cheat. And I got some of the, like, crops or uh, plants from that. I can't remember what they are now. No, it's gone. I don't know. Um, oh, there's also like a a sunflower. Oh, there's a lavender. That's it. One like in each of these like closed off areas, there's different types of plants. So in one of them is the barrels of hay. In one of them, it, there's the lavender plants. There's a sunflower one. There's a corn one, and there's another one, but I can't think what's in there. I can't remember. But yeah, there's all different ones, and really enjoyed doing this. Like, I just think this makes the whole thumbnail of the video look really nice um, especially having it at the front because it's just all laid out so neatly and it's it's just really pretty I love it um, another thing that would go with this house if you do have it I don't but you know the store content item um, or set or whatever it is grandpa's grove or whatever it is with the tractor that would be a really nice thing to put on this lot as well if you do have it um, yeah, I can't. I don't think I want to buy that to put in my game. Um, I don't know. Maybe if it went cheaper or like I was gifted it or something, but I don't think I'd actually buy it myself. Um, because I feel like it's just like a one-time thing you'd use and then you don't really use it again. So I'd probably put it in one build and then that's it. Um, oh, I was gonna put these trees in, like apple trees and banana trees, but I didn't because they were like at the front of the house I didn't want them to block the view of anything behind it so I thought no let's not do that um uh, what else was I going to say oh yes there is room enough room for oh I just thought I haven't put a cat bed in but there is enough room for a cat a dog there's a bird cage there's um a dog house outside um like there's the cat litter tray, the scratching post, the little thing on the wall that they play with and the cat jungle gym. I don't know if your cats can sleep in the jungle gym. Hopefully they can because I actually forgot to put in a cat bed. Um, so yeah, you might have to just add that in or maybe I'll add it in now before I... Oh no, I can't. I've already I've already exported the build. So yeah, you'll have to, if you want to obviously have a cat then add the um, cat bed in for them. Unless they can sleep in the jungle gym that would be fine I, I think they can to be fair and um, oh I like this little bit I did here I, I had a big space to fill and I was like I'm gonna put some fountains in there and loads of bushes and trees and plants and I just wanted to make it so like I don't know what the word is but I just wanted to put loads of flowers and plants and everything around and uh, I'm just so proud of this build like it only took me I'd say a week from like obviously going back and doing bits and bobs to it I think it's probably actually probably hasn't taken me a week probably about three days um I started it did the first bit and then I did the downstairs furnishing and then I did the rest of the furnishing for the upstairs today and whatever other bits I've added on and then obviously edited the video today and voice over in it today so yeah three days it's pretty much taken me um I did have a gap in between so let's just say a week <laughs> um, but yeah it's about 15 probably about 15 hours it took me to build all this but I really enjoyed it and I want to do a lot more of these builds um, in The Sims 3 and in The Sims 4 because I've never actually done a massive like house build or whatever in The Sims 4 um, I know the lots there go up to 64 by 64 like in The Sims 4 um, I think this one is 50 by 50 and it's still massive and hard to, you know, fill up. But 
I don't know, a challenge will be, will definitely be like doing the 64x64 64 64 lots in The Sims 4. Um, hopefully I've got enough items and enough packs to fill up all the rooms and the whole space, but we'll get there. But let me know what kind of build you like to see, um, like large build in The Sims 3 or The Sims 4. I'd love to know. I'm thinking of doing like a school or maybe like a college campus. Um, what else? I want to maybe do a sorority or a frat house or what's the other one? Like the mix, the halls, like the university college halls where people, like men and women, live in together. Um, I want to do a large family home, a large modern home. Um, yeah, just let me know which one you'd like to see next because I'd love to get your feedback and obviously i like to build what you guys want to see. Um, ooh, I don't really know what else to say. Such a long time to talk for. Excuse me, one second. <clears throat> yeah, and that happens when I talk too long. I get a cough. <laughs> um, so, just trying to think what I could talk about. The build is pretty much... Well, I've pretty much said everything I needed to say about the build. So, I don't know, I might just talk about what I've been up to so let me know what you guys have been up to as well I like to read the comments and you know see what you guys have been up to I went to um, this place called Ghetto Golf it's in Birmingham and um, I don't know if they do it anywhere else but basically it's like mini or crazy golf and you go around all these different rooms and it's all different themed and it's really cool um, I went there on Tuesday and that was really fun um, what else have I done I don't know, that's it really. I don't think I've done much else. <laughs> I don't really do much. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to think what else I can say because um, I don't want to cut the video off yet. Uh, mm, but I don't really want to be sitting here going, uh, uh, uh. I don't know, what am I doing tonight? So it's Friday night and having a meal and some drinks tonight and just see what we get up to tonight or we're going to a friend's house or I don't know what we're doing. Um, we're doing something though, <laughs> hopefully. You know when you just can't bother to get ready though? I really can't be bothered to get in the shower and paint my nails and do my makeup and whatever else I have to do. There's just so much I have to do to, you know, look decent when I leave the house <laughs> but um yeah I just realized I haven't actually put in the picture of the barn so I'm gonna have to before I get to screenshot screenshots I'm gonna have to um take them pictures and then add them into this video so by the time we get in there we will have the shots or the screenshots so um, oh, I love this terrain paint. It's like mowed grass. Um, yeah, I just think it looks really nice in the garden area. Um, oh, as well, in this garage, uh, I have fast lane stuff. So that car there, that left, that car on the left, that blue one, I'm turning green now. That is actually like a, a vintage car, and I thought it really goes with like a farmhouse look I feel like a lot of farmhouses like back in the day and maybe still now um, they have those type of cars so that's why I put that in and here we are into the furnishing finally only 15 minutes in or 14 minutes into the video um, I really thought this video is gonna be like 40 minutes long and um, I really hope it's not too fast for you either because I have sped it up 14 times like that is a lot but I feel like in a bigger house you can't see the spinning too much so hopefully it doesn't make you dizzy I'm really sorry if it does uh, but I don't really like putting my videos into like parts so I could have done like part one um, and then like, part one the exterior and then part two the interior but I didn't really want to do that because I know I just like to have the whole thing in one video so hopefully that's okay for you guys. Um, so yeah, in here we just put in like some 
decor around and what I'm doing now under the stairs it's going to actually change you don't see it in the video but in the, when the screenshots come up you will see that under the stairs there instead of the rocking chair and the table and the phone I'm actually going to put a dog bed in because I realised at the end that I forgot to put a dog bed in as well but I, I have remembered that now so well just before I finish so well before I exported the build even God, get your words out Kens <laughs> Um, so yeah there's a dog bed in there now you just need to put a cat bed in um, and oh I love this kitchen absolutely love it this is probably my f most favourite kitchen I've made it's a proper country style house um, oh talking about country style houses this is going completely off topic but in a way it's not because it's about a house <laughs> kind of looking at flats, apartments um, houses, anything just something cheap enough for us to rent because we, we basically just want our own space obviously we've had an apartment before and th that apartment was like gonna get sold so that's why we moved out of that but anyway you don't need to know that um, basically my mom has found for s like we only want to pay about 650 or 700 a month like 700 at the absolute max um, if we don't have to pay 700 then we won't but on right move there's actually a house where it's 700 pounds to rent a month apparently like i don't know if this is right because the how the picture of the house is like absolutely massive like it's i i looked at it and i thought oh it's got to be a share home but appar apparently it's a two bedroom house maybe the rooms are massive or maybe it's like a duplex like apart uh, not apartment house so you've got like the bottom floor and then maybe like two big rooms on top i don't know it's it's really weird i have a feeling they have put it up wrong because it's it looks like a from the outside it looks like a four bedroom house at the very least um so i've actually requested to view it they haven't got back to me yet but there's like parking on site next to the houses it's like it's detached so that's another thing that's really good so I imagine part is in there you could be so loud um so it's like yeah detached like fully detached it's out in the countryside in a really nice area it's uh, it allows pets because it's got an absolute massive like acres and acres of garden um and then like on the side of the driveway there's like i think it is like a farmhouse because it looks like little I can't explain it. it. They look like stables, but they're not for horses. They're kind of just like farm house. I don't know that. I don't know if it's like storage or like where you put your tractor or something. Like it just looks like an absolutely massive, massive countryside farmhouse. But they're only renting out for seven hundred pounds a month. I mean, you can get a probably three four bedroom house that's smaller than that and you'd rent it out okay there's one up the road from me now and you rent that out for 1200 so like i'm really baffled as to why obviously i feel like there's a catch like i don't want there to be a catch i want it to just be 700 because if it is a semi-detached house you're allowed pets there's a massive garden get a massive drive um like a fit and i'm guessing in them stable things you could put loads of stuff in that you want to store but I have a feeling there's something either wrong with the inside, like maybe it's mouldy or it's like dirty or maybe it leaks or something. But it looks it looks really nice. And it's it's so close to where I live now. Um and it's in like a nice posh ish area. So I really don't know what to expect, like, at all. Um I'm hoping it's not too good to be true because like if I could have a, my own two bedroom massive semi detached countryside house to rent for seven hundred pounds a month, then I am gonna go for it. And the only problem is I was just thinking actually right now that the internet might be bad because of where it is, because it's like out in like I'm out in the countryside at the moment and my internet is pretty bad. It takes a good half an hour to upload a twenty minute video, but it can also like if it's uploading and it's struggling too much the internet just literally goes off so sometimes i have to upload it three times before it actually goes on so i need somewhere where i can 
actually um, you know have good internet <sighs> it's so hard it really is like when you want to live in a really nice place but the internet is bad because I want to start streaming like if I move out I want to move somewhere where it's got good internet so I can upload as much as I want and I can live stream as much as I want so I'm gonna have a good 12 hours in the day to actually no, I'll be at work for the first four hours but a good what's that like nine hours eight hours in a day to stream I'm obviously not gonna be streaming for that long every day but I'll have so much time to myself but the only thing is the internet like I need good internet so I might have to live somewhere where there's more houses and buildings around because that seems to be better internet than if you're living in the countryside which is a shame but I don't know I really don't know I bet I'm gonna go and view it anyway because you never know it might be absolutely gorgeous inside I just have a feeling it's gonna be really old-fashioned and I do not want an old-fashioned house like at all I want no, I'd rather have a small flat that's more modern than a big house that's old-fashioned, which sounds stupid because, obviously, <laughs> it, like you, you'd rather go for the bigger house, wouldn't you, if you were normal, but I'm obviously not normal, but I know I just want to live somewhere nice where it's plain enough that I can decorate with my own stuff, because when I was in the flat before, it was only there for a year, we painted the whole place in white, we wallpapered every room with grey textured wallpaper, um, we did all the skirting boards, glossed and everything, and we literally had to move out about four or five months after that, and we were like, oh my god, we spent so much money doing it up, and then we had to leave because they're selling it, so I was absolutely good about that, so I kind of just want somewhere where it's already nicely wallpapered or nicely painted even if it's just white all the way around or magnolia all the way around at least I can add my own touch to it and then like as long as it has cream carpets or wooden floors or something decent and a white bathroom and probably like a white kitchen or a grey kitchen as long as it's modern like I don't mind just popping my own bits in to make it more homely and more you know more my style um so I don't know, I'm going to have to look into that and I'll probably let you know in the next video if I do end up viewing it. Hopefully they get back to me because it's a good bloody deal and I want to see the inside of it. I mean, for £700 for a semi-detached, no, not semi-detached, sorry, a full-on detached house with your own, like, stables or whatever and massive garden and driveway, like, I, I shouldn't turn it down really, but depends how ugly it is inside there's no pictures of the inside on the website as well which is really annoying I don't know why they do that obviously it entices people to come and view it um but you know if it's moldy and horrible which it shouldn't be because I don't think they're allowed to like rent out a moldy and dirty place to people it's probably illegal so mm, we'll have to see I will let you know though but geez, I've already rambled on for a good 20 something minutes. That's actually gone really quick. Um, so here's the little like upstairs kind of, it's kind of like a man cave, but it's for a woman I'd say, because it's purple. Obviously a, a man can live in here if they really wanna, it's up to them. It's up to you as well if you wanna change, obviously the wallpaper and stuff like that. And it's just very like, I think it's more modern up here. So I feel like the girl or man or whoever lives up here, has you know painted it themselves put their own little touch on the room and stuff like that um but i really love it like i really love the idea of it it's really nice um and here's a little tv area and the, the bathroom there on the left but as i said i don't actually film furnishing that so yeah you won't see that it's, it's all the same as the bathroom downstairs anyway so the only difference is on the main bathroom on the main floor um there's actually a bath in it and the counters, there's three counters in there instead of just like a sink. So here we are onto the screenshots. Here's the front of the house. Here's a like decking area where you sit and relax. Here's like some kids toys and stuff. And here's the inside, the stairway, and there you go. There's the dog bed in there. Here's the dining room. The beautiful kitchen I'm so proud of. Absolutely love that. The living room, the little closet where you have your shoes and a mirror in there. There's the laundry room. Here's the downstairs bathroom. This is basically the same as the rest of them, just so you know. Um, oh, actually, I did take a picture of the master. Not the master one. 
this bathroom, this main bathroom. Really like that. Here's master bedroom. Absolutely love this. Proper countryfied. I really love it. Um, here is the like child's bedroom or teen. Could be a teen. Whatever you like. And the twins bedroom. Really cute and pink, of course, because that's my favourite colour. So I'm gonna put it in every single build I do. <laughs> and here's the upstairs like pad. <laughs> The little cool pad area upstairs with the bar and everything. I uh, didn't take a picture of the bathroom, but you know, it's the same as Wanda says. There's the stables and the barn and the equestrian bit where the horses can run round, the garden where the kiddies can run round. And I just love all these screenshots, they're so nice. And here's the inside of the barn, and then I'll show you the garage and some other screenshots from like the top of the house, like from a bird's eye view. But I really hope you guys like this video.